<laughs> you are all so dead. Like looking in the mirror, isn't it? Well, you can't sneak into a pole. I was at the telepath that we can meet with the one you know is in the city's architect. She must have been so thoroughly disappointed in you. You archangels, you really can't seem to accomplish anything without relying on your sugar mommy. <sighs> but I did achieve something. She'll be here very soon. <laughs> Don't get caught. That exact train is the one that has now given us reason to leave. He will arrive to an empty house with only a dead dead who is in existence and no trace to find. But missing us again will be entirely your fault this time. Gah! You must be for pride or talking down to me? You're no better. The time for words is over. Wow, that felt satisfying. I feel like I shouldn't celebrate destruction in any form, but that... God, I needed that. It's okay, I understand the feeling. Maybe Coco will be able to go through with it soon, hmm? You're the only one left who hasn't. What? No thanks, I'm quite fond of not destroying. Yes, but sometimes to create one must destroy, such as the equilibrium. Just think about it. If we did not have destroyers, we would all still have genuine nestled inside us, waiting to strike. Besides, you can't hide it from me. I know you're just waiting to use it on someone, something that embodies all that which you were poor. Okay, I demand that you stop being so creepily in tune with our emotions this instant. Aw, oh, come on, you can trust me, can't you? Now I'm free of that menace, we're able to go ahead with the plan. I can't beam up just yet, there's something in my lab we have to recover. And we should move quickly. If that Denny of mine wasn't bluffing, this could become quite a storm. Whatever she must be going to acquire must be the important item she mentioned. Just see, this had better be worth risking oblivion for. If I got my meddling ass erased, you'd get to see my mother at her utmost absolute of mortifying. Don't let that become a thing. Shouldn't you be beaming up with Rome now? Your mother asked you to be safe, if I had to guess, and I want you to be safe as well. If you follow me, I'll be forced to kill you. What? Keep him safe, Rolly. He won't listen to me. I can see that look in his eyes. You betcha, sweet birthday, trusty. Uh, don't I get a say in this? Nope. Stay with me, please. Oh, fine. I don't want you to have to suffer my mother's wrath anyway. From what I hear, you have enough of a fun time with me. You have no idea. Guess not. I don't think my mum wants me to have an idea of what we're up against either. She is wise to shelter you from such a being. No one confronts you because they want to. Do try to keep that in mind, Pep. You're what, over 40 years old now? Try being at least half as wise as that. There are some fights you don't want to pick. In addition, Yi does not take it all kindly to arrogance at your... How to politely put this? A complete fucking liability, and you know, I can entirely understand why your mother wants you benched for this. <laughs> no need to be so cruel. Not as polite as I wanted, but you are dangerous. That can often be good, but sometimes it can also, well, be quite bad. Best of luck, old friendos, old pals of mine. I'll make sure Peppy stays with me. 